When the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development was adopted in 2015, more than half of the world's population lived in urban areas. And according to United Nations projections, it is estimated that by 2036, 62% of the world's population will reside in urban areas. In addition, developing countries face high growth rates of urban poverty. However, there are many uncertainties related with these estimates, such as the data availability and the variations in the definitions. During the last decade, production, availability, and use of geospatial information has increased considerably, which can come in handy together with satellite imagery for supporting such tasks. Nevertheless, the growing availability of information can raise different challenges, as it is virtually impossible to traditionally analyze the volumes of data associated with it. Geovia represents a bridge between raster information and vector information, applying automatic methods for segmenting satellite images, generating polygons that represent geographic objects, and evaluating the, their characteristics through spatial, spectral, and temporal scale. We use national level composites called Landsat Geomedian, and from these images, we generated 20 additional spectral indexes. Additionally, we use the digital elevation model. Regarding field data, for 2010, we use the urban polygon layer of the 2010 geostatistical framework. On the other hand, for 2020, we use a layer urban and rural localities that show city blocks. To generate the test and training sets, all label polygons where the proportion of label pixels was high enough were selected. The results illustrate that machine learning algorithms can identify urban areas with a high density of houses and buildings and distinguish them from those with lower density or no houses. One of the most interesting and promising findings is the high correlation between urbanization growth and gross domestic product at the state level in Mexico. The states with the highest urban growth exhibit a higher GDP. These results, combined with other sociodemographic data, can help analyze the inclusive and sustainable development of cities and communities. The nature of the problem is decisive for GEOG. In this work, we explore the impact that it can have on the delimitation of very large objects, such as cities. The purpose of Geovia is to convert satellite images into data that can contribute to the identification of geographic components of interest, such as cultivated areas, urban areas, or some kind of land cover, and we'd like to see its usefulness in other thematics. Thank you.